there everyone welcome to poor painting with Ron I hope you've all been well since the last video and you've been enjoying messing around with paint at your place well before we get into it today just a little bit of news as you can see it's all a bit crowded on the table today it's just that I'm getting ready for a pop-up store happening in a in a couple of weeks so I'm madly painting paintings for that and getting all the, the background scenery ready. So that's very exciting. Um, if you're local to um, Brisbane, Ipswich, Gold Coast area, um, I'll be at uh, Mount Omni Shopping Centre. Should be excellent. Four months in the lead up to Christmas. And also last Saturday, I had uh, my first market set a brand new market down at Helen's Vale at the Gold Coast. And as you would know, it, it rained. Uh, as you can see in this video, uh, it was pretty, pretty grey. Um, it rained where we were setting up, then it was dry for about half an hour, and then it rained pretty much non-stop until um, we packed up at the end. Fortunately, it stopped while um, we were packing down, so I could get everything in the car without getting all my stuff wet again. But anyway... I had fun. It's always nice meeting new people down at the markets and chatting to fellow paint pourers who come to ask all sorts of questions and have a sticky beak at my stuff. Um, I'm happy to share things down there. It's lovely meeting you all. Um, and I sold a couple of paintings too, which, which is great. So it's all very exciting, but just a little crazy. But I do have time today to show you a painting. I did one this morning, sitting here next to me under my insect net. Similar to one I've done before, so I didn't bother videoing that one. But I thought today we would do another pearl pour. I'll do it on a, a bigger canvas this time. And I'll just change up a little bit how I do it to see if I can keep more of my metallic on the canvas rather than tipping it over the sides like I usually do. So I'm using today this 45 by 45 centimeter um, thick edged square canvas, nice and tight, which is important. And as usual, I've taped the back with painter's tape and put in my thumbtacks just to keep it off the table. And I've made sure that it is level. Now, um, if I'm doing a normal pour or something, I'd use about 900 grams of paint or so for this canvas. But because this technique requires the paint on the top to be relatively thin and spread out for the, the pearls to pop through, I'm only using about, ooh, how much was it? It was, ends up between four and 500 grams of paint for this pour, probably closer to 500 grams of mixed paint. Now the paints I'm using today are mostly Montmartre colours. I bought some of this light purple the other day, so I thought I'd give that a go. That should look really nice. And I'm combining it with some magenta and some silver. Not quite sure how the metallic is going to go with the other metallic pearls that will pop through, but we'll see. And I'm using this Eraldo metallic paint. It's called uh, Metallic Emperor. It's really, really dark purple. Should look really nice. And again, I'm not too sure how it's going to react with my, my pearls that pop through. We'll see. And then to get the pearls today, I'm using um, Deco Art Extreme Sheen paints again. They work really well for this technique. Um, and the color I'm using today is Ruby. I didn't want to pick a color that was similar to all of these colors because you, you just wouldn't see the pearls. So I picked the, the ruby color today. Now my pouring medium is good old faithful Floetrol. And I'm not using any silicon or anything like that because the only cells I really want today are the pearls from my extreme sheen. Uh, now I've mixed up the paints probably a little bit thinner than I usually do. The um, Extreme Sheen, I mixed up about 40 grams of this paint with 40 grams of Floetrol. And then the rest of these, I mixed up about 60 grams of paint with about 60 grams of Floetrol, 
perhaps adding a little bit more flow troll and a little bit of water just to get the consistency that I want. You'll see the consistency in a little bit. So without further ado, let's get painting. So these are my paints that I've mixed up and got ready. Um, space is a bit of a premium today on my table. I did a, a big painting this morning and it's sitting over here on the side um, drying nicely. Um, I'll, I'll show it to you after I've done this painting. I think it turned out really, really nice. But anyway, these are my colours for today. Um, the silver I've kept a bit thicker than the other ones. As you can see, I get a quite a large mound. I've tried to keep it a bit thinner though than I usually do because with the pearl pour, if your paint is too thick, the pearls aren't going to come through. But the metallics, if they're too thin, they disappear. So it's, it's a bit of a delicate balance with this one. So I'm hoping I've got the consistency right. The standard colors though are much thinner as you can see and if I do a little little twirl the it's uh, the little twirly bit stays there for about two two three seconds at the most so there's my magenta my my purples and this um, emperor purple lovely color but I'm not going to use as much of that as the other colors because it, it may take over that's a lovely it's almost black but you can maybe see that the purple sheen to that it dries really nicely and then I've got my ruby at the end here okay I'll keep that aside because I'll use that separately and I'll put these other colors aside as well and I'll bring in my canvas oh no before we do put my paints in the cup so I'm using this large cup um, it'll be more or less full, but we'll see how we go. Not quite. I don't want to use too much paint and have to tip off all of my metallics. Now, I want a dark centre, so I'm going to put some of my Emperor Purple at the bottom. Not too much, otherwise it will like overtake the painting. And then I'll put in some of the, the light purple. Dribble it down the side. And I might put some magenta in on the other side. And then I'll drizzle a layer of silver over the top. Now you can layer the paints any which way you like, really. I thought I'd sort of do a oh, wiggle, uh, wiggle part, wiggle, pour, straight, pour part, ring, pour, just to create a little bit of interest. Now I'll just dribble the colours down one side. Oh, maybe a bit more. I'll keep my layers fairly thick, I think. Magenta. Silver. Just a, a little bit of the Emperor. Rest of the magenta. Rest of the silver. And some more of this lovely purple. Although most of that will get tipped over the edge, I think. Now, hopefully that is enough. 
we'll soon see. So you can see that the cup's almost full. Uh, should I scrape off a bit of extra? I've got a little bit left. A little bit of the light purple. So I don't want to run out. Magenta may as well use that all up. Okay, cool. All right, we'll get rid of these cups. Make a bit of space. And I'll bring in my canvas. Hopefully you can see it. Right, now I've made sure it's level, so the paint's not going to fall off one side while it's drying. All right, now I'm going to pull this metallic in the middle. Like so. Now in the past I've usually just poured the paint in the middle and it's tended to push all of this out to the sides. But I think this time I'll do some really quick rings out and then in again and then finish my pour in the centre and see if that makes any difference. Okay. a wiggle well that all happened very quick I want to get out some of this purple out that's in the bottom. And I want to catch any drips. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Now I'll just give it a little bit of a torch. Now when you stretch it out you have to be reasonably quick before the pearls appear. So I'll just go there. I'll go over the edge there, back to the middle. there I hope I get pearls you never know As you can see it's pretty fluid sure about my design it's but anyway 
We'll see. This corner. Now I hope I haven't tipped off all the important stuff. Okay, I've got pearls happening. You can see if you the pearls appear while well, you're still stretching, they sort of lose their nice round shape. So I'm not going to stretch anymore, even though I probably still like to play with my composition, but yeah, I can't anymore without wrecking my pearls. They do take a little while to develop properly. So I'll just go and wash my hands a bit and then we'll see how the pearls have started to develop. Okay, now we'll just give it a little bit of a torch. Okay, I think that's cooked enough. Um, I do really like the color combination of the, the purples and the magenta and the silver. And I think I'd really like to try like a multi cup ring pour using those colors. I think they would look really awesome together. So you'll probably see a video with those sometime coming up soon. I really like the, the designs or the patterns happening here. Composition, I would have liked to play a little bit more with the composition. I probably would have wanted to stretch out the middle a little bit more and stretch it out that way to make the middle a bit more circular. It looks a bit squishy, squishy looking. I mean, it's lovely, but I would have wanted to open that up a bit more. But because of these pearls coming out, I wasn't able to tilt any more without wrecking the pearls. 
So that, that's the deal with a pearl pour. You need to stretch really fast and then leave it and then wait for the pearls to come through. Now, what I'm going to do is tidy up the corners because there's a few bare patches there. Let it sit for about 20 minutes or so, waiting for the pearls to develop. And then we'll come back and have a look and see what's happened with the painting. So we'll see you soon. So we're back. I've done some washing and cleaning. So it's been about 10, 15 minutes or so. And as you can see, we've got quite a few pearls happening on the canvas. I think the technique of um, doing the rings out and then in and then finishing off in the middle managed to keep more of the um, extreme sheen on the canvas rather than pushing it out and over the edges. I still lost a bit over the edges, but as you can see, I've got some pearls still near the center, which shows that, that, that it worked. Certainly got heaps of pearls. Now, I'll bring you in for a closer look, and I'll also show you the other painting that I did earlier today. So here we go. Hopefully you can see it. I'll bring you in for a closer look. You can see we've certainly got lots of pearls happening. The ones that popped up after I finished stretching are the nice round ones. These ones, see how they're a bit odd shaped? I think they started popping up while I was still stretching out the paint. So the quicker you can stretch it, the better. Well, this is the center. Lovely patterns there. I think that the silver will, will look really awesome once it dries. Then we're down here at the other corner. And then we'll travel up to this corner. So it's certainly bright. All the, the silver and purple lovers out there will just love this painting, I'm sure. This is the painting I did earlier today, same size canvas. Now I've done a similar one before that I've made a video for, and I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one, just in case you want to see how, how I did it. I'm not sure if I did it or not in the last one, but in this one I mixed a little bit of, um, what do you call it, satin enamel paint with the white to give the the cloudy effects on the white. I think it's a Americana deco art, I think white satin enamel. And I mixed about three tablespoons in with the white. I'm really happy with how the one this morning turned out. It was just a ring a wiggle pour. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I really enjoyed doing this pour today. And I think this, this new color combination that I haven't used before is really awesome. And I'll certainly use that again. I'm contemplating doing the, the multi ring cut pour using the same colors just to see how that turns out. And if I do that, I'll certainly video, for, uh, video it for you so you can see how it turns out as well. Now, I hope I've inspired you today to give something like this a go yourself. It's not really that hard, really. Just be aware of your consistencies and don't, over you, uh, don't put too much paint on the canvas. Otherwise, the pearls won't, won't shine through. But if you can keep those, those little tips in mind, it should work out for you as well. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, have fun playing anyway. Now, as usual... Um, if you like what you saw today, please press the like button. It really helps my videos to get found on YouTube. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please take a moment to subscribe. That'd be, that'd be really great. So, happy painting, and we'll see you again next time.